everyone, this video is going to be about the three utilities that you can use to apply eyeliner. So I know that most people when you talk about eyeliner, they kind of know what it is and, and how it's supposed to look. But still a lot of people struggle with applying it and just getting that really crisp straight line, which isn't easy. So the three utilities that we're going to talk about today are basically going to be a felt up liner, a liquid eyeliner, and a gel liner. All three of them are supposed to get you eyeliner onto your eye, um, but just the way that you apply them, the way that you use them, are really different. So starting with a felt up liner, um, it's kind of like a pen that you use to write things down, but now you're going to write onto your eyelid. So it has this pointy tip that kind of makes precision work very easy. But the thing is that you want the ink to like get really into that tip. Uh, just because that's what you're going to use to get that straight line in your eyeliner and just not have any messy things happening. So make sure that the ink has gone completely through like the moussey texture of, of the point and get really into that dip. Because um, that's what you're going to use basically and if, it, if there isn't really a lot of ink or there isn't any, it just, it's not going to work. So then after a while the pointy tip isn't really going to be that pointy anymore just from using it a lot. That is basically the moment in time where you need to tell yourself to get a new one and just stop using the old one just because it's not going to be precise anymore and you're not going to have that straight line anymore of your eyeliner and once you don't have that anymore it's just it's going to go all downhill from there. Then a liquid eyeliner is kind of the way they used to write things down with ink and a feather where you dip the feather into the ink and then you start writing. It's kind of the same thing where you get this brush like top of the container out and you kind of use whatever ink is left on there. So the thing is just dip into the ink and start making that line onto your eyelid. It's easy. A lot of the times when you get it out of the container the brush is kind of going to be full of ink, you know, there's going to be too much ink on that brush to like really be precise and to like really make thin lines, which is probably what you're going to want to have. You just scrape it along the sides of the container to get kind of the majority of the ink off so that you can work more precisely. Then last of all is a gel liner, which is not as liquidy as the previous two ones, it's more it's got the same texture as like the pomades for the brows that we've discussed. It's more like that, it's more gel, it's more of a solid consistency. For which you need a brush to apply it. It's either going to be this angled brush like we used for the eyebrows, or it's going to be this like really thin pointy liner brush. That's going to make it similar to a liquid liner but then with gel. The thing is here again, don't use too much because it's going to affect your precision. Um, so you kind of define how much product you can take with your brush. Um, it just don't take too much. There's this thin line between not taking too much and kind of have to go over it 10,000 times or taking too much and then end up having a way too thick eyeliner and then just a lot bigger wing than you expected. So there's a thin line between that. You need to kind of find the balance and kind of know your gel a little bit. But I mean, with practice, that's gonna, gonna be fun. And it is basically the only one of the three where you can kind of see when you're gonna run out of product. Um, just because it is in a container and you're always, and you're always taking from that container. Um, especially with a felt up liner, I feel like you can't really predict when it's gonna leave you hanging. Um, just because you never know what is still in there. It's really different for everyone what they specifically like more or think is easier to use. But for me personally, I feel like a felt up liner is best for precision work. Um, like the pink line that I've got right now above my moving eyelids, that was done with a felt up liner just because it can be really precise but still really thin. And I feel like for me personally, a liquid liner is best to like just make a standard wing um, just because you can kind of 
almost put it on top of your eyelashes and just follow them by making a line um, and then just flicking your wing out because I feel like a gel liner doesn't really work for me just because it is such a, a more solid consistency. You really sometimes have to like smear it on and then I've got a lot of cracks and creases in my eyelids which it doesn't really go in that well. Um, so whenever I use gel liner, um, I go over it and it seems like the line is crooked just because not all gel liner is in those little creases and cracks. Um, when, I mean, with a liquid liner, it would get in there like nothing happened and it would look like a straight line, which it obviously is. I feel like if you've got little cracks and creases in your eyelids um, or if they are really movable, it's probably better to not use that or just try not to use that that often um, just because it's it's quite difficult to get in there and, and just make it a really straight line and just make it look like you know what you're doing <laughs> which is also important <laughs> for yourself. So that's it for these three eyeliner utilities. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!